Good morning. In previous PPT, I was explained about factors affecting enzyme activity. Today, I am going to explain about enzyme cofactors. So, what are cofactors? Cofactors are organic or inorganic molecules that are required for the activity of certain conjugated enzymes. So, apoenzymes. The protein portion is referred to as apoenzymes. Apoenzyme is an inactive enzyme. Activation of the enzyme occurs upon binding of an organic or inorganic cofactors. The next holoenzyme. The cofactor is firmly bound with the apoenzyme or the fully intact enzyme is referred to as holoenzyme. So you can see here the holoenzyme which is completely bounded with cofactor, coenzyme and apoenzyme. This fully intact of these enzymes referred to as holoenzyme. So here cofactor are nothing but organic or inorganic molecules which are required for the activity of certain conjugated enzymes. Apoenzyme is the protein portion. That is referred to as apoenzyme. Coenzyme is an organic factor, is loosely bound with the protein. So, here fully intact enzyme is referred as a holoenzyme. So, enzymes are composed of one or several polypeptide chains. The non protein component of an enzyme require cofactors to function properly. Cofactors are bound to the enzyme to make the enzyme catalytically active. So in the cofactor there are three kinds of cofactors prosthetic group, coenzyme and metal ions. So in prosthetic group, prosthetic group is non-protein organic molecules which help in catalytic activity and are found always closely bound to enzyme. A prosthetic group is a tightly bound specific non-polypeptide unit required for the biological functions of some proteins and is organic or inorganic but is not composed of amino acid so that protein prosthetic groups are organic compounds and are distinguished from other cofactors in that they are tightly bound to the apoenzyme for example in peroxidase and catalase which catalyze the breakdown of hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen and your heme is the prosthetic group and it is a part of the active site of enzyme. Then next is coenzyme. The organic cofactor is loosely bound with the protein is termed as coenzyme. A coenzyme cannot function alone but can be reused several times when paired with an enzyme. So without coenzymes or cofactors, enzyme cannot catalyze reaction effectively. For example, coenzyme nicotine amide adenine dinucleotide and nicotine amide adenine dinucleotide phosphate that contain vitamin niacin. So third one is metal ion. A number of enzymes required metal ions for their activity which form coordination bond with side chains at the active site and at the same time form one or more coordinator bonds with the substrate. Then some other enzymes like immobilized enzyme and isoenzyme. Immobilize enzyme and enzyme attached 
to an inert insoluble material such as calcium alginate this can provide increased resistance to change in conditions such as ph or temperature then isoenzyme isoenzymes are enzymes that differ in amino acid sequence but catalyze the same chemical reaction so here clinical significance of enzymes so enzymes are play very important role and it is shown that many diseases associated with components of the enzyme metabolism system so enzymes are the preferred markers in various diseases such as myocardial infarction jaundice pancreatitis cancer etc enzymes are organic catalyst which facilitating chemical reaction in the body enzymes are needed for metabolic pathways in the body such as respiration digestion and other important life process enzymes are used in chemical industry and other industrial applications when extremely specific catalysts are required so enzymes are very efficient catalyst for biochemical reaction they speed up reactions by providing an alternative reaction pathway of their activation energy so protease enzyme used in manufacture of baby foods to pre digest proteins enzymes are also used as medicines to replace enzyme deficiencies in patients like in the use of blood clotting factors to treat hemophilia so enzymes play crucial role in metabolic activities of all living organisms whether humans animals plants or microorganisms so enzymes are responsible for catalyst of almost all biochemical reaction thank you